Wow. I am curious nga, Father, how do you train as an exorcist? Eh? Kunwari, baguhan pa lang kayo. Surely, hindi kayo pwedeng sumalang kagad right away, di ba? So, may parang OJT yes. ba kayo? Or... Uh, actually, at first, to, uh, the most important thing is you really have to have that call. Uh, mm. That means we don't just get anyone. We have to make sure that the person ay, talagang has really uh, an attraction. And it is really attract- mm. an attraction from God. It's not simply curiosity or sensationalism. But really, mm. there's a this are to help people who they see are in need and they want to learn how to help these people. And secondly, after that, then they we, we, we give them talks so that they have mm. new theology nila ay maayos because of course if their theology is not uh, not orthodox, then uh, they may they will always come up uh, you know, they will be open to retaliation or they will not address the issue properly. So uh, after that, then mm. we ask them to observe during extra systems and until some time we ask them to join Uh, the playovers uh, hmm. by doing the prayers. Okay? First simple prayers until they graduate to solemn exorcisms if they're given the faculty by the, the bishop or from Manila, our bishop, hmm. the archbishop. Hmm. I, I heard it is a requirement for exorcists to, to be an example of holiness and piety. So uh, my question, I guess, is why is this so and how hard is it to maintain these aspects in life? Well, actually, the call to holiness is for everyone. It only becomes, we may say, a bit uh, uh, necessary in the midst of exorcism because you're fighting now. You're not dealing with the sickness of mm. the soul or sickness of the body. You're dealing with a being that is totally evil. Oh. At talaga, his, main tar- his main goal is to destroy and attack. Okay? To deceive, destroy, attack, okay? and, and, and kill the soul, if not the body. And therefore, you're, you're going up against a, a superior being than man. And therefore, holiness of life is very important because this is your armor. So, mm-hmm. many ex- almost all exorcists to enter the ministry, they are in a sense forced to become holy because they cannot keep, they have to make sure their armor is intact. Because those exorcists who did not focus on that, they fall into all kinds of uh, retaliations. And uh, many of the, a number of them who, who, who decide to enter, sadly, some of them fell away because they couldn't mm-hmm. hack the retaliation. I mean, they couldn't, in a sense, Uh, in sobra sobring attacks okay, that they couldn't mm-hmm. anymore keep up, no? and they saw that they were uh, they'd rather go back to uh, the, the ministries that they are more used to. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm curious, Father, how, how common is demonic possession here in our country? How how many do we get in a year? Well, actually, uh, if for example, each day we may have around three cases of of uh, coming to us. Uh-huh. Uh, so maybe within a week we have around uh, 15 cases usually mga dalawa oh. doon ay possess okay? dalawa tatlo mm-hmm. possess uh, because here in the Philippines we are we are people who are very we may say open to the spirit world madali tayong uh, sapian at uh, we are we, we have so many doorways in our country to open up mm-hmm. ourselves to the diabolical spirit mm-hmm. and okay. therefore uh, you know this becomes a, a vulnerability Uh, so the devil makes use of that to, I'm sure you've heard a uh, dami nothing news. Um, uh, uh, uh-huh. We hear a lot of, I'm sure you know, even people who experience possession. Yeah, Nawawala yeah. sa kanilang sarili or even mass possession occurs. So it's very common actually now in our country. Mm. I guess later I'll ask about the doorways na nabanggit mo. But uh, I, I'm, I, I think, I, I read your bio that you have the a master's degree in psychology. Is, is it a requirement for exorcists to have a psychology degree or does it help at least determine if it's a demonic possession or a mental health problem on your side at least? Yes, actually it helped me a lot. Actually, that's the, the reason it's, I was chosen first uh, mm-hmm. when I was in Quiapo. It's not because I'm holy or anything. No? It was because I had a degree in... I was the only... Basically, a uh, priest in Manila had a degree in psychology, a master's. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. The, the bishop said, uh, you are... Ikaw na lang na dyan because para you can help it can help mm. you can help uh, it will help you diagnose better and it's mm. been a big help but you don't need mm. a degree in psychology all you need mm. is to be able to know what how, we may say some basics on on the on what can be uh, psychological manifestations which are actually and how to test that these psychological manifestations are not simply psychological because the devil mm. hides in science. Mm. The devil hides behind psychology because pag alam na niya that he's about to be uh, uh, 
he's threatened by an exorcism. Then he tries to manifest that the in a way that seems psychological. So hmm. hindi sapat na you know what are the what is you know, what are the psychological disorders or or maladies. But dapat alam mo rin na how to make sure that you're able to draw out and unmask hmm. the devil hiding behind the, psych- the psychological. Hmm. In other words, mas gusto niya na hindi siya napapansin. Yes. Para mas, mas matagal siyang nandun sa tao. Because of course, when he attacks oh. us, he, 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 his main tactic first is deception. So oh. that it, pag miserable ng buhay mo, your life is really, you're really, see, maybe bad luck. And there's no such thing as bad luck. Okay? Everything is under mm. divine providence. The person gets angry oh. at God because he has no one else to blame. He doesn't oh. see where, he's, where the attack is coming from. Okay? So the first thing is that he will always destroy from within in a very hidden mm. way and not manifest his presence. That's why uh, when he has an inkling that an ex- a priest is coming in as an exorcist, then he will try to manifest that this is something psychological. Although oh, okay. I wouldn't say that everything is black and white. That means it can be half psychological and half spiritual. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's why mm-hmm. Because any mm-hmm. spiritual weakness, emotional, relational, even physical weakness, the devil can aggravate it. Okay? So mm-hmm. it can be 50-50. Yan. So I you overlook ngayon lang that the Vatican is again reviving this ministry. Mm-hmm. And therefore, madami mga Pilipino na katoliko, tumatakbo sa mga pagan practitioners. Ako, Tama. practitioners parang pagaling. O magpalayas ng demonyo. Uh-huh. So, unless you be able, you experience it, for example, bata ka pa, no, you have no problem with, with, your, with your chest or your lungs. Pero pag habang tumatanda ka na, suddenly you start to have, uh, you have a hard time breathing, then that's when the lung center becomes important for you. Mm-hmm. But when you're young, parang baliwala, you know, I don't need the... Why, why do we have a lung center in the Philippines? Right? Until ikaw mismo, you reach a certain point wherein you experience a sickness and then that comes into the picture. Then you find the need. So that is actually, it's actually simply we are trying to uh, continue the compassion of the Lord, the mercy of the Lord, especially sa mga tao na who are being, you know, the poor, the poor we call them. Kasi ang isang tao na inaatake ng demonyo o nabibihag ng demonyo, that is the, talagang, that is the poorest of the poor. Talagang nakakaawa pag nakita mo ang isang possessed na tao because the devil hates us. He will desecrate the humanity of the person in front of everyone para hindi na mukhang tao yan. He looks like an animal already. Mm-hmm. And therefore, we have this ministry. Of okay. course, because Hollywood has made it very, you know, alam mo naman, sensational. Mm-hmm. So, nakakalimutan what is the ministry is all, what the ministry is all about. That it's not about the devil. It's about the compassion and mercy of God trying to liberate a person who has placed himself under the, yung, uh, sa ilalim ng kapangilihan ng demon. And this is the ministry that will try to remove that person from the situation, from that bondage. Okay. Father, so far ito, may, ito'y tanong ko, tapos may related question dito. No? So far, ilan po kayong exorcists sa buong Pilipinas ng Catholic Church? Tapos, ito, may tanong dito. Eh. Lahat, po ba pwedeng, lahat po ba ng pari pwede maging exorcist? Well, well first, we are already, uh, siguro sa Philippine Association of Catholic Exorcists, we're almost 200 already. No? We're under the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines especially the Commission on Liturgy and uh, Doctrine of the Faith. And we're mm-hmm. also connected with uh, yung International Association of Exorcists in the Vatican. And uh, right now, we've been training exorcists every year. So ngayon, we're around 200 na siguro. No? Uh, now, not any, any priest can become an exorcist. Right? Just like sa mga doctor, uh, there are specializations. Mm-hmm. Some are very good in liturgy. Some are very good in uh, preaching. No? Iba-iba, iba-iba. No? Uh, so, in canon law, that's the law of the church, may hinahanap sila mga qualities to be an exorcist. Because the ministry, hindi madali yan. Eh. Kasi you're going to go, 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 enter into combat with a a being that is more intelligent and more powerful than us. And therefore, hindi basa-basa pwede po makapasok ka lang dyan because you have to be trained for it. Eh. Mm-hmm. It's not like just giving homilies or baptizing or celebrating mass. Of course, very, those are very important because they're sacraments. Pero ito, you have to keep your wits about you kasi talagang magkipag-usap kasi demonyo. Make his message known is our responsibility. So here we are to pledge our lives to the